How's it going guys? It's Arian here. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. I'm not really sick. It's just I'm a bit tired and the weather's not the best, but that's okay. Um, I'm really happy for the support you guys showed me on my last video about um, the DMing my followers crushes. And it did really well, so thank you for that. Um, I don't, I think you guys remember, for those of you who haven't checked it out, um, last week I had made my departure from Snapchat for good because, well, I went into detail in that video, but essentially I was tired of the whole, it just left me depressed. I don't know how else to say it, but Snapchat was a really depressing and lonely app. And I felt like it was just doing more harm than good. And it's been a week since I've left. And I wanted to talk to you guys about how I felt since. And starting off, I feel like I've had, I feel like I'm generally more happy and a lot more relaxed than I used to be because I'm not so worried about chasing like online women and stuff. And I'm not too hung up about, oh wait, when is she gonna respond? When is she gonna text back? Whatever, whatever. Um, and it's given me a, more control over my emotions and I feel like I've actually become closer to the people that I like interacting with on a daily basis rather than trying to please 20 or 30 people whatever it may be number two I feel like um well I was in a handful of group chats when I was on the app and I left them and they kept adding me back and then I left them again and they kept putting me back in and I feel like now that I've finally left, there is no choice but to, for them to just leave me alone. And I'm really glad that I have that option now because it was just getting really toxic and there was a lot of drama going on there. And it was just too much for me. And I, it was honestly giving me social anxiety that I never experienced before. And <laughs> yes, I do have a teddy bear. This is actually, I just looked at it. This is my teddy bear from, I used to be smaller than him at some point. So you know what? You're gonna do this video with me. <laughs> um, pretty much, but I feel like I have a bigger grasp on my life. And I feel like it's all because while I also left, the people that were there for me when others should have been stuck around and provided me a sense of comfort where I did not feel like by leaving, I was completely alone. Um, I also feel like, um, I have less strings attached, like I feel less of a reason to let's say slide in DMs or whatever they may be, I have. I feel less of a reason to be worried about, oh yeah, why are they not texting me back but why is their snap score going up or oh should I take a hint and whatever that may be, I was just, I had my fill of that kind of drama and now that I'm gone I've never really realized how the, how almost avoided that app was leaving me and I feel like I've become more productive one thing I noticed is that whenever I would check snapchat I was I would magically find my way on Instagram or on other apps or on my games or whatever it may be and because of that um 10 minute video assignments were taking like 30 minutes to finish and I noticed that coupled with um checking snapchat I would check Instagram way too much and because I left that I also checked Instagram less. Now the only downside of that was that people that I do care about happened to be on Instagram. So when I wasn't responding to them as quickly it was almost like oh so are you really just leaving everybody or are you only leaving the people you care about? So I still have to sometimes make the, make the extra effort to check Instagram but I feel like my social media usage has gone down which has given me the time to do a few other things I wanted to do. This weekend, I mean last weekend I had wrapped up a big part of my big time Eagle project thing. But that's a whole thing of itself, I'll explain it at some point. Um, I applied for, I, I officially committed to Purdue and yesterday I finished housing for it and a whole bunch of other important stuff and really getting a grasp on steps I need to take for the future. And I don't think I would have been able to do them as controlled and as emotionally stable as I would have been should I have still been on the app or should I have still been as paranoid as I was? I can glad I can genuinely say that I was paranoid, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm my name is Arian Vidge. Thank you for listening to my little therapeutic rant. 
I will make another video about this a month from now and um, other video ideas will be coming soon and make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and thank you for your time. Have a nice day. Peace. <laughs>